Hi there. This time I will uh, start working on the deck, uh, but it's quite cold on the outside. First day of real frost. So I think we better get inside. I will need some nice strips for the deck. First I need to get the middle strip in place, between the two side flanges. to build up the material to hold screws for fastening the head sail and for lifting the kayak. A lot of trimming is needed before I can glue it together. As I started with putting Wiener in between the strips, I have to continue. There are still some gaps that I fill in in a not so pretty way. start facing the first strip on the side. This strip is also a bit difficult to fit. With a small hand planner I smoothen the edge. Try it in between. Take off some more to try to face it to follow the deck line. I finish with some sanding to reduce the gap from unevenness in the planning. And now it fits. But the sides are still too high compared to the middle strip and I add the short strip onto it to have something to sand down into without opening a gap into the hull. I continue to add strips with spot gluing. With the leftovers from facing I can put pressure on the strip. Rubber cords are also handy to get a snug joining. With clamps I control the leveling of the strips between the bulkheads. I put down spots of glue on one stretch. Before spreading masking tape. Holding down the strip firmly as I fasten the tape. Add clamps and rubber cords down the deck, all the way down. After a few hours I can remove all holding tools. I start to plan for the hatch and cockpit early, so I do not make any serious mistakes in the deck layout. When the glue has cured I can plan off excess of the wiener.
It takes time to put the deck together. Each layer takes about 30 minutes to glue. At least 2 hours to cure for the wiener and about 4 for the strips. Before I can proceed with the next layer. Facing the side to fit. Strapping it together for curing and removing it. And putting on a new layer of wiener. As I will have a hatch, I do not need to have a full length strip here. I only use the finer parts of the strips as this deck will be seen all the time. The facing is not difficult, it just takes time. With some trimming, before I can glue the strip. Here I have a mishmash in leveling. I add a half strip to have something to sand down into. Another problem is that the whole deck has become too low. I need to add a cross over strip to adjust it. Perhaps you can already feel the waves from the sea. Behind the cockpit I face all strips in the front end. The middle strip needs to be extended behind the hatch. As I place a joint under the hatch it does not need to be pretty. I simply glue on one strip on the other. This part will be cut away later anyway. Here I need to be careful not to make the deck too high when pressing in the strip. With rubber cords I can keep the shape better. Here is the general fitting process in detail. First measure, draw and cut the strip. Then trim it with a hand planner or a rasp. Try it. Take off more of the thick points. Try it. More rest work. Try it. More trimming. Try it. Finish with sanding to remove the cracks from the rest. Of course you can continue, but I settle here. And glue it in place. In the parts with less bending I speed up the process, doing the wiener and the strip in the same phase. 
Now the last strip in the front. behind the cockpit. The benefits of uh, laying out the deck this way without staples is obvious. It's uh, no holes on the bulkheads but there are also some drawbacks and uh, let me point them out to you as you can see here perhaps uh, it's very hard to get a very good and snug fitting against the bulkhead yeah I think it's about four millimeters above uh, whereas on this side it's no nothing other things, of course, that I showed you earlier. You may misplace some strips, but that's uh, mostly due to that I have wiener in between each strips. When you glue only strips together, it's easy to, easier to, to make sure that they are level. But uh, it's not so complicated to put a, a strip on uh, top of the others. And if you use uh, wood glue, it's, uh, it won't be so much markings. And if you sand, uh, you will not even notice the transformation from, um, from where it's no extra strip added into, until this one. What more? Yeah, uh, as you don't uh, staple the strips to the hull, you can also get waviness in this way and that is something that I have got here. You can see here that th this area is a bit low. So probably I didn't face this one correctly. Uh, or I put too much pressure on this higher up. So it's a bit wavy, especially around this area, and I'm not quite happy with that. I'm not sure if I um, am going to do something about it. Of course I will sand and it will get better, but um, maybe it's not possible to sand so much that it uh, I can get off, get away all the unevenness. On the other hand, it doesn't matter that much for the functionality and uh, as the uh, lining for the cockpit will be around here, it might not even be possible to notice. So I'm not sure I will spend the time, extra time to do something about it. Uh, otherwise, I'm quite happy with this uh, method takes a lot of time of course, that's also a drawback. <laughs>